that could be interested in making a deal for Russell Westbrook's expiring contract. I couldn't help but get the feeling that there was something sketchy about the reports we were getting in regards to Russell Westbrook about a month ago. And it was something that we were being fed constantly over and over and over again to the point where I started accepting it as mere fact. But it seems like it wasn't fact at all. And the most pathetic part about this all is the Lakers exposed a huge secret that they probably should have kept to themselves. And now they showed their hand. And I'm wondering how the hell it happened. So before we get to the content, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and turn on our notifications to help the channel grow. And if you think I talk too much, we upload shorts onto my TikTok and my Instagram page. Now that we get all that out of the way, cue the intro. Check one, two, one, two. What's going on, everybody? If you remember one month ago, Magic Johnson said something to us that drove us a little crazy as Laker fans. And this is nothing against Russell Westbrook, by the way, because I will always open up by saying that I'm a huge supporter of Russell Westbrook. I hope he finds success. I just didn't think that that success was going to be with this Los Angeles Lakers team with LeBron James and Anthony Davis, at least not for $47 million a year annually. And I don't necessarily think this is a hot take at all whatsoever. As a matter of fact, I think a lot of us agree that the trio of Anthony Davis, LeBron James, and Russell Westbrook just didn't work. Even though they had limited time together, even when they did share the court with one another, it just looked awkward and clunky and the paint was clogged in and they weren't playing their best basketball. Anthony Davis had a horrific year when he was healthy. Russell Westbrook had a below average year for himself. LeBron James, well, LeBron James kind of went into full on stat padding mode once he figured out that the season was lost. And that's with respect to LeBron James. What he did this past year was phenomenal and something we've never really seen from someone his age, but you could tell that the man had different priorities this season once he saw the trajectory of this season. So imagine all of our surprise when Magic Johnson said something that absolutely shocked us, saying that the Los Angeles Lakers actually planned on keeping Russell Westbrook. Now this is before their head coaching hire, saying that Russell Westbrook Westbrook, Anthony Davis, and LeBron James could only work if you got the right coach. And to me, it still comes down to who's the coach. And then also, Russ is on a one-year $47 million contract. So if you offer him in a trade, what are you realistically going to get back? And I told the Lakers this as well. You're going to get some contracts you probably don't want, and they're going to go chronologically past his contract. You've really got to think about that. Are those players who you're getting back, are they really going to help you? I said, talk to him. Whatever happened this season, how can you make it better with Russell Westbrook? How can you make him more comfortable? So they got to figure all these things out. Take him out, take him to dinner, or sit him down. How can this thing be better? Because if he's going to be there, it's got to be better. I guess whoever they name, that's the first thing they're going to have to do. And you can't sit down once, you're going to have to sit down for a week or two to try to figure that thing out. Now this is just Magic Johnson. I mean, he's the former president of basketball operations for the Lakers and very influential within the Los Angeles Lakers organization. But I didn't really take his word super seriously, I felt like maybe this was a potential smoke screen by Magic Johnson. But then I thought to myself, Magic Johnson isn't necessarily the greatest at keeping secrets with respect to one of the greatest point guards of all time. And that's just his persona. He's notorious for being Captain Obvious on Twitter, being super positive as a personality no matter what. So when he said this, I thought, man, maybe there's a chance that the Lakers want to keep Russell Westbrook. And then whenever they were interviewing head coaching candidates, all their head coaching candidates were being asked, how are you going to make it work with Russell Westbrook? And to that, I thought, hey, look, it'd be great if we could make it work with Russ. But at the same time, you have to understand that if you bring back Russell Westbrook, this team, the Lakers are going to be as bad, if not even worse next year, not because of the big three of AD, Russell Westbrook and LeBron James, but because they are going to have no depth whatsoever. And that big three didn't really work well together to begin with. Well, it seems like the Lakers were full of it because the Lakers actually tried to trade Russell Westbrook to the Indiana Pacers. Now, this is coming to us from ESPN and you have to bear in mind that there's a lot of teams that are still interested in Russ. I mean, according to Kevin O'Connor, the Charlotte Hornets are still very interested in Russell Westbrook. Just imagine a backcourt of LaMelo Ball and Russell Westbrook, but here's what we have. 
have. Apparently, the Los Angeles Lakers offered Russell Westbrook and all reliable, you know, all reliable, Talon Horton Tucker and a future first round pick to the Indiana Pacers for Malcolm Brogdon. And here's the crazy part. This is coming from ESPN's Jonathan Gavoni. Apparently, the offer was reportedly rejected. Now, this actually blows my mind because this trade is an absolute dream scenario for the Los Angeles Lakers. Yes, you offload the salary of Russell Westbrook, which is $47.7 million. And you better bet that he is definitely going to opt into that contract, by the way. There's no way he turns down $47.7 million. You get back a player that one, fits into your offense a little bit better, and two, is making $22.6 million. So that frees up some cap space for you to actually go after some depth and some additional players, which the Los Angeles Lakers would absolutely love to get. Now, the article actually explains why the Pacers weren't interested in this trade. And if you think about it, it makes a lot of sense. Tyrese Halliburton was recently acquired from the Sacramento Kings, and he had a pretty phenomenal season last year. If you acquire Russell Westbrook, it would kind of get in the way of Tyrese Halliburton's development. So that makes a lot of sense. But I'll tell you what's unfortunate about this, if this report is true, and it's coming from ESPN. So I'm leaning towards trusting it a little bit more than not trusting it. If this report is true, then the Los Angeles Lakers showed their hand. That whole thing that they were saying about making it work between Russell Westbrook, Anthony Davis, and LeBron James, that whole thing about Darvin Ham saying that he's spoken to Russell Westbrook and they're going to try to make it work together. Everything that you've heard this past month leading up to the NBA draft and into free agency has been absolute BS according to what this report says. And now everyone knows that the Los Angeles Lakers are going to try to trade Russell Westbrook. So this is why it's such an unfortunate scenario for the Lakers. They showed their hand once again. It kind of reminds me of when the Los Angeles Lakers were trying to trade for Anthony Davis in the middle of the trade deadline a few years ago. And when the trade fell through, it was absolutely embarrassing. I mean, Brandon Ingram, Kyle Kuzma, Josh Hart, and all of the players that were initially involved in that trade had to go back to playing with LeBron James in the Los Angeles Lakers. And they were ridiculed mercilessly. Even in some cases, you heard fans chanting that LeBron's going to trade you whenever some of these players would shoot free throws. And that's the unfortunate part about all this. The smoke screen is effectively gone. So I don't know, in two days from now is going to be the anniversary of when the Los Angeles Lakers traded for Russell Westbrook. Not the exact date, but he was acquired on on draft day. Maybe on draft day, we'll see something happening with the Lakers and Westbrook. That would be the day that I would anticipate a big move happening, but it's not like the Los Angeles Lakers have a first round pick this year because that's actually going to the New Orleans Pelicans and that's actually the eighth overall pick in this year's NBA draft. So let me know in the comment section down below if you're a Laker fan or just a fan of basketball in general, what do you guys think about all this? I think personally, it just reflects poorly on the Los Angeles Lakers for not being able to keep this to themselves and letting it get out to the public. But aside from that, I'm your boy Mike, and I'm dropping our mic until our next upload.